There may be a number of people in Salt Lake City and in Utah who want the 2030 Winter Olympics who might be looking at the words of the International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach because there could be a change in how the Olympic group awards a summer or winter Olympics. The IOC President Bach has suggested that the group just might scrap the bidding process and just give an area of the event if the group deems one Olympic bidding candidate as outstanding. Salt Lake City hosted the 2002 Winter Olympics, and what the word outstanding probably means is that the local area has the money the IOC wants for the Olympics. In 2002, Salt Lake City organizers had the money thanks to a bailout from President Bill Clinton's administration of about a billion dollars after Mitt Romney pleaded with congressional leaders to get the money into Salt Lake City. The original Salt Lake City bid backers had bribed International Olympic Committee delegates to vote for the Utah Olympics. An Olympic bidder needs an incredible amount of government support in the form of billions of dollars of public money to secure the event. The Olympic bidder also needs marketing support. In Salt Lake City's case, the United States TV and platform network Comcast is pouring billions of dollars into the Olympics in exchange for programming. No government wanted to subsidize a 2026 Winter Olympics bid, although it appears Italy and Sweden might relax their initial stances and help local bidders. Bach declared that the press is the enemy of the IOC and is the cause of cities pulling out of Olympic bidding. The IOC failed to find enough interested cities for the 2024 and 2028 Summer Olympics and was forced to give the 2024 Games to Paris and the 2028 Games to Los Angeles. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.